while our women that are ready to wander and travel and look for excitement? Yeah. Well, good. We're excited to have you here. So we thought first we'd introduce ourselves and tell you a little bit about what we do in travel. Yes. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> My name is Lisa Niver. I'm the founder of We Said Go Travel. It's almost the 10th birthday of my website, and three times already this year, We Said Go Travel has been number three on the top 1,000 travel blogs. So, thank you. Thank you. I, um, I also am a freelance journalist, so I write for USA Today 10 Best, Ms. Magazine, Saturday New Post, Wharton, and I also do travel segments on television in Los Angeles. So one of my segments from last year about Ogden, Utah is nominated for a Press Club Award. So please give me the Wonder Woman vibes and at the end of June I win the award. Yeah. 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 Thank you. I seriously wish we had our Wonder Woman yeah. Yeah. I know, we should have brought Kate. They left. <laughs> I'm Debbie White. I'm the Senior Vice President of Public Relations and Promotions for San Jose Resorts. I actually work for the marketing arm for the brand. And um, I've had the pleasure of working for the super brand we call it, which is, um, for 22 years. Yes, I started to ask How many of you have heard of San Jose Beach Resorts? Oh, oh well, our job is done. It's I'm late. We didn't ask the second question. How many of you have been to San Jose Beach Resorts? Awesome. Okay, good. Does it, does it count that I'm going to our team? Yes. 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 Little video. These 
quotes that you've been seeing are from people that were on the BFF program. So we're gonna, Kim's gonna tell you more about that, but we just wanna show you, there's nothing like seeing it, right? I was actually just, um, I've been to Turks and Caicos before, but I was at Beaches Turks and Caicos for the first time recently, and it really is a paradise. It's so beautiful. Oh, yeah. Sandals may not have invented the all-inclusive category, but we clearly revolutionized it. Historically, all-inclusives were grouped together and perceived as budget vacations, but we separated ourselves from all others and created the luxury included vacation. We kept improving the product, adding new innovations, new luxuries, and raising the bar even higher by giving guests more quality inclusions than any other resorts on the planet. It wasn't long before Sandals emerged as the world's only five-star luxury-included resorts. What Sandals created was so powerful, so game-changing, many of the high-end hotel groups and cruise lines began imitating the Sandals model. For years, Sandals guests wanted to share their memorable Caribbean experience with family and friends. Everyone's dreams come alive at Beaches Resorts, where everything's included for everyone. Generation Everyone. It's all about generating good times and happy memories that last for generations. Beaches, Generation Everyone. This is gonna be a fun ride. You won't believe it till you see. This is gonna be a fun ride. You have a lot of energy. I love to travel, and honestly, for me, it's fun I fell in love with travel when I was 11. My parents took us on a trip. My dad was, a, he still is. My dad's a dentist and he was studying and they were studying on a cruise ship. And so my sister and I got to go and we saw the pyramids and we saw the Parthenon. And for me, it was like my history books came to life. And instead of, I, I never understood since then why people could teach something so amazing in such a boring manner. And um, so two things happened when I grew up. I worked on a cruise ship and I'm a teacher. Mm -hmm. So my dad said, I'm writing a book and my dad said it should be called Good Thing My Father Never Listened to Me or something like that because he says everything that happened to me is because he's so smart. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I have to be Wonder Woman. But one of the things that we wanted to just touch on is why is travel so important? And for me, I travel at least two, one or two weeks a month for my different stories. And so it's a little bit different. Not everybody has that kind of access to traveling. But one of the things I've certainly noticed and you might notice from the trips you've been on, is being with other cultures, you tend to be a little bit more open to things that are happening around you. And for me, I make sure when I'm traveling that I always use the F word. That I'm flexible, of course, flexible. Because the plane might be late, they don't have the ex exact food you want. When I worked for Club Med, I lived in the Bahamas and someone was very mad, why don't we have yogurt? Well, we didn't have yogurt because the yogurt didn't come on the boat. And there was no storm. And so that was, it was so obvious to me, it wasn't obvious to this woman that was here just for the week, but you start to understand that everything doesn't happen just like home and that there's other ways. And so I think that's one of the really important things about traveling. You're more flexible, you're in the moment, you could appreciate other cultures. But one of the things that's really surprising, earlier this week I was in Anaheim, California at the IPW conference with 6,000 travel professionals. And the United States Travel Association did a study called Time Off. And they found in 2017, after you negotiate so hard for your job, for all the benefits you want, 54% of people did not take their vacation. That's crazy. So one of the things that they said, they said, I wrote it down, there were 705 million vacation days that went unused. So just think that if you spend all this time negotiating where you want, and then you don't even take it. So one of the things that we think about the amazing all-inclusive and I found staying there is it's such a great way to travel. And so I think that that is one of the most amazing things. Like we, you know, parents tell their children don't waste food. And you negotiate for what you want, you shouldn't waste your vacation. 
and it's very important for your health. So in order to plan in advance, do you want yes. to tell a little bit more about what happens at the beaches and stuff? Absolutely. And I think just to kind of comment on what you were saying, I'm sitting on American Airlines yesterday coming here, and in front of the magazine, American Way, headline is sleep retreats. And I thought it was interesting that the workshop before us was talking about the importance of sleep, right? And I think it all kind of comes in tandem. Just like superheroes, right? We have villains, <laughs> right? We have villains. Our villain in today's society are the cell phones that we have, and social. all the distractions, the digital distractions. There's so much information that's being fed to us. The necessity to feed our mind and our body um, is overwhelming, and it's very important to disconnect in order to connect not only with yourself, but with the people that are most important to you. And I think, and I'm sure Kim will also um, echo that, we are so proud to work for a company that will give you everything that you would possibly need without having to think. So if you wanted to lay on a beach and do nothing, that's your choice. If you want to go scuba diving, learn to scuba dive, if you want to snorkel, you want to eat at all the restaurants, whatever you want to do, it's a, there's a plethora of things to do. And we make that process very easy for you. It's one upfront price, you pay, you, when you check in, you leave your pocketbook in the safe, and you're good to go. Um, you know, I always <laughs> say that, um, the, 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 most, the better stories in life, right, are those stories captured in those moments of travel, for me anyhow. I mean, I'm obviously in the travel business, I travel quite a lot, at, a lot as an executive of the company, but for me, I've always had travel in my life. My daughter, who's 11 now, it's actually her birthday today, every year we go on a trip together. Um, and I'm here, I chose to be here with you guys today. <laughs> but some of the most important memories that she is building are on these vacations with me. Um, and I can't echo enough how important it is to take time out for yourself because of those villains that are in our lives every single day. We're constantly as females thinking, what's next thing? What do we have to do? What, you know, who are we picking up? What party do we have to do? What paper do we have to fill out? The brain's always thinking. And I think it's good that you exercise that muscle just like every other exercise. If you don't exercise it, you become atrophied, right? Um, but you still have to feed your, your mind calmness, serenity, and I think beaches, resorts is an awesome option for that. I mean, Kim and I have been working together for many, many years. Um, I think she, we're friends outside of the office as well, and um, she's much more spiritual, I would say, than I am, and she's actually helped me. I went on a retreat that she led last year in Sonoma, Arizona, and it was life-changing. And I'm not just saying that because I'm trying to blow <laughs> <laughs> to you. Oh, by the way. <laughs> it was honestly, I, I, for the first time, learned to put away the cell phone, put it on silent, and I left it. I literally left it and said, this is, this is for another time. And I was able to learn how to meditate. Half an hour in trying to meditate, my mind was running like 50 miles an hour. It took me, I would say, by day three, I finally understood what it meant to really disconnect and connect with and that was powerful for me. If you guys could tap into that source, there is so much power that is in you and there's so much more that you can give to yourself and the people that are around you by understanding and connecting with yourself. And I'll, I'll leave with that kind of you. So as I mentioned, we started a program 10 years ago, BFF. So if you call, recall, I think we're all been working ages here, and 08, the economy tanked big time. And when you have what we call an industry, um, you need to fill your beds with heads. Mm -hmm. We had to come up with how are we going to do that in a bad economy. So I thought, you know, we had a new village that opened up. We need to be able to get some of these ladies down there. Our goal was not so much to create a woman's retreat and keep it running, but it was a way to take print marketing and let's physically take them and get them there. And then they can look at the new village and say, oh my gosh, I want to take my family here. Well, two things happened. So we got together, there was eight of us, we all put ourselves into the conference room and we threw out ideas. We had single mothers, we had young girls, we had older women, we had grandkids, we had mothers that had spouses in their lives as well. And we all threw out, what would you want on the girls' getaway weekend? How many nights would be doable that you wouldn't carry so much guilt with you going, right? Because you're taking time for yourself. And we came up with the formula that we have now, which is four nights and five days. 
a Thursday to a Monday, because for those women that had kids, it was probably easier to maybe get somebody to take the kids during the weekend, and there wasn't that stress of pick up, got to go to soccer, got to go to ballet, got to go to drama, I got to pick up to school, and just got to get it, and that's what get turned out sick, whatever. So we came up with that formula. We had six weeks to launch to where we were going to travel in a bad economy. And the president of the company said, if you can get 20 ladies, I call it a success. We launched with 68 ladies. We run it two times a year. We do the spring and we do the fall. We always do it at Beaches, Turks, and Caicos. Beaches is our brand that's for everybody, singles, couples, and families. Turks and Caicos is very large. It's on, it's on 12 miles of blinding white sand beach. Um, your dress, the back of this camera, there's 12 different shades of turquoise. It's something that you've never seen before if you haven't been down to Turks and Caicos. And the resort is large enough that if you're not with kids and you're with your BFF, whoever that may be, you don't have to be with the kids. There's also a Del Dolma restaurant. So it's a formula that really works. Knock on wood, I don't think you can ever sit back on your heels, but we almost don't really have to actively get out and promote it. And I'm not promoting it today. What I'm talking to you about is why it's so important for you to take the guilt and leave it here today. Just leave it in this room. So, some of you have said you've traveled. I want to ask you a question. How many of you travel at least once a year? Even if it's locally, down the road. Awesome. Okay, how many of you go twice a year? How many of you leave the mainland? Okay. How many of you go with your best friend? Every year? Every year? Every year. Good for you. Okay, so how many of you locally meet with your friends, if your friends live around here, at least every other month you get together? Awesome. And do you feel rejuvenated once you do that? So what we found out with BFF was we had these women check in, and I just loved the stories. So, you know, we get to that point in our life and maybe some of us get there earlier than others as to what's my purpose? Why am I here? What am I doing? So I had that aha moment. I'm like, okay, I love my job. I love who I work with. I've been there for 35 years. I love the owner. I love the corporate culture that I work in and the fact that I have some great properties to sell. But am I making a difference? Am I out curing cancer? And what BFF has done is to be able to watch women who are maybe never traveled before, some come alone, some come with their best friend, their mother, their daughter. And what's really cool is by the end of the time that they check in, they're completely transformed. And they all say, I've made a commitment to myself that I'm gonna to continue to do this. This has been life changing for me, and to be able to reconnect. And stories of a mother who was sitting in Iraq and got up in you know, the morning and she turned on her computer and up popped an ad for Beaches BFF, and her daughter was sleeping here in the United States, and she went on and she booked a trip with both of them, and her daughter got up, and in her inbox was a trip to meet her mother down at Beaches BFF. And when they left, that mother was going back to Iraq, that daughter was getting deployed elsewhere. So just stories like that that are just, for me, really filled my heart. So what we're here to talk to you about today, as Debbie has mentioned, and as Lisa has said, Good for you, you all raise your hand that you do take a vacation time, but it's really important to connect with your friends. And whether that's locally or to be able to go away on a trip like BFF and be with like-minded women. So we have a really great program that has a lot of different things included from spa vouchers for $200 to a catamaran trip to a fashion show to a shopping trip inside of Colombian Emeralds. Um, we do workshops with facials, uh, some of our other sponsors that are in the spa. But it's the bonding that really takes place. And it's the reaching across the aisles of the different BFFs that come together. So that's basically what we're here to talk to you about today. We hope that you take advantage of whether you're going to come down to beaches, or you're going to go to Sandals, or you're going to do a BFF trip, or you're just going to make a commitment to yourself today to leave guilt in the room and to be able to travel. It doesn't always have to be money. It can be day trips. Right? You, you go to see a friend that you're going to drive to and stay in their house. So where we are in time. Um, we have a little exercise for you to do today, which we hope you will enjoy it. We think you will. Is there anything you want to add? I just want to add one last thing from the, you know, the U.S. Travel Association research. was They said the people that actually use their vacation days, the main difference is people that plan to use them. So they actually made a National Vacation Planning Day in January. Just like you plan your goals 
for what you're going to do at work is just as important, like Kim was saying, that do you meet with your best friend every other month? Do you feel rejuvenated? That, that needs to be on the top of your list because there are so many benefits of getting out. And it's really such a great way when you're in another space, even if it's in another state or down the street, to rethink like what's really important to me. Sometimes you have to move to see yourself in a different way. And travel really can reintroduce yourself to yourself. And I think, did you want to read something before we did the... I had just made some notes and I was listening to Ale um, Aliasa this morning to kind of come off of what you were saying. You know, whether it's an epic vacation or a weekend getaway, remember with great power comes great responsibility. And the opposite's also true, right? With great responsibility comes great power. And the greatest, respon the greatest responsibility is for yourself. So be your own co-pilot, take that vacation, wherever it may be, because you deserve it, and that's empowerment. Okay, so what we're gonna have you do is, you have on your seats, you should have a card and an envelope. Does everybody have a pen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I made them myself, even though they say Mary Ellen. <laughs> Starting to get to a crossroads, a fork in the road. So let's just pause there for a second. To the left, you kind of look down to the left, it's dark, lots of vegetation, lots of trees. And to the right, there's light, there's a breeze, you can feel it on your face. Now start walking. Decide if left or right is for you. There's no right or wrong. Whichever path you chose, keep walking. Start to notice your surroundings. 
Is your breathing getting easier? Are you starting to feel that you can't catch your breath? If you're feeling that you can't really catch your breath and you're starting to get tense, just stop and turn around. And go back to the fork and take the other path. Now you're coming to a clearing. And you're walking to the center of that clearing. And you feel light. You feel relaxed. All the stress has gone away. Go back to the beginning of the question. If money was no object, where would you travel to? What would that look like? What would that feel like? In the center of that circle with you. And who's with you? Who would you bring along? Deep breath in through your nostrils. Pause and let's let it all out together. Slowly open your eyes. Did you find your wonderland? Okay, so we said to you earlier we want you to leave the guilt that you may carry with you when you want to go to that place that you just envisioned leave it in here today and write a letter to yourself with the cards that we gave you of what commitment you're making to yourself on where that destination is. Money's no object, time's no object. So if you said you wanted to go to Ireland and you had a busload of people with you, write that down. If you said, oh, I want to go on the girls' getaway weekend with Kim or I want to go to beaches with my family. Or I've always gone to, you know, wanted to go back and trace my ancestors' steps. And then put it inside the card. I mean, put the card inside the envelope and address it to yourself. And we're going to mail it to you in six months. And when you open it up, see how close you came to being true to yourself and keeping that promise. Oh, congratulations! Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. So who lives in Robert, Louisiana? Emory. Come on, you be a Oh my God! How amazing! Wow! Congratulations! Here's some time for questions and answers. So before we do that, I want to each of you. I want each of you to turn to the person to, that's next to you, as close as you can get. Okay? And if there's one extra person, then join a threesome. And threesome. Three. Okay. That's a different kind of and, oh, okay. and tell each other what you committed to. Now, if it's super personal, you don't have to share it. But if it's a commitment that you said you were going to get together with your girlfriends, yeah, or you were going to travel here, or you are going to travel there, be tell somebody. So now you've given it up to the universe as well. And this person is going to help keep you stay accountable to yourself. Where do you want to go? Well, do you feel better? Do you feel more accountable? Like you're going to hang on to that? Oh, yes. What you wrote down? Well, we know yeah, you're going to bed. There's a new BFF over here. I would have thought would have got up and talked to her. <laughs> That's so nice. So oh, bad. Okay. All right. So, do you want to wrap it up, close it? Are we good? Does yeah. anybody have any questions? Yeah, do you have any questions? Yeah. 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 So everything's included? Everything. Oh, that's all your really meals, good all your drinks, all your tips, all your taxes, all your nightly entertainment. What about like water sports? Water yes. sports? Yeah, yeah. Except, except um, all non-motorized non water sports. Meaning that there's no parasailing. You don't like to have all inclusive with drinks and parasailing. It doesn't really go too well. Um, but water skiing, scuba diving, windsurfing, sailing, um, paddle boarding, 
Snuba. Snuba. That's all included. That's all Class bottom boat. What That's about spa? Spa is not included, but with BFF, it is. You each get a $200 spa certificate included in that Ooh. price. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Just one thing about Sandals and Beaches, because I was in Sandals, Montego Bay in February, mm -hmm. and Beaches, Turks and Caicos in April, and I had worked at Club Med, I worked on, I worked seven years on cruise ships, and they said it was all inclusive, and I was like, sure it is. So I'm gonna go and figure out all the things they're not telling the truth about. And honestly, really everything's included. I did two scuba dives a day. Yeah. The tips are included, all the drinks. There's no mini bar. They have full-size bottles in your room. So, and I had a butler. So they're, they're yeah. it's a, it really truly is luxury all-inclusive. I, I was prepared to find out that it wasn't quite as true as it is, but I was wrong. It really, really is. And I thought the diving was amazing. The, highly awarded for the dives and the dive team and they were very friendly i was there by myself in both places and so i was you know how great is it going to be alone but everyone was very helpful and friendly and it's really so beautiful do they do tankless diving or with tanks there is snuba um so and they have all the you can the class to learn to scuba dive there is a charge which is i think totally reasonable because the class but everybody can learn to dive even have great programs for the kids to dive and at Beaches in Sesame Street, I get to hug Grover. <laughs> <laughs> and it's incredible, guys. Not, not all, all inclusives are equal. And our chairman, who is a brilliant marketer, many years ago, he realized that all inclusives <coughs> were all being bucketed into the same bucket. And he's like, we're not the same. The quality of what we give is different. The quality, not just of the food, the equipment of the water sports, land sports, everything was on a completely different level. And he said, I'm so sick and tired of the sea of sameness. So several years ago, he said, I'm going to stop using all inclusive as part of my tagline and came up with luxury included because we are a luxury included brand. Oh, Not too long good. after, everyone started <laughs> using the word luxury. <laughs> <laughs> so we're the um, innovators and people who ride the hotels. But we are, we are truly a luxury, I would say a five-star <laughs> hotel. I mean, from the moment you land, the service you're getting, the heart of our company is a DNA of our employees. They are the heart of our company. They want to be there to make sure that you have the most memorable and beautiful experience. You're spending a lot of money to be on vacation. It's your time is money, right? So we want to ensure that every moment of that time that you're investing in us to be in our space, that you're going to enjoy every moment of it. So that's a guarantee. And, it, and I think it makes the difference too, um, not to make this a commercial, but yeah. you know, you asked the question, we're owned by one person, yeah. a Caribbean man named Ford Butch Stewart, who has done so much for the Caribbean, and it's the owner of Jamaica as yeah. well. I know, he used to own Air Jamaica. Yeah, yeah Butch, I don't know one of Butch his well. he owns part of the coffee <laughs> crop. He, started, he actually started out with a refrigeration and carbur carb carbonator, hmm. can't say it now, carburetor company called American uh, Appliance Traders Limited, and he's a salesman at heart. And so he has some little Volkswagen, this is way, way back, probably 55 years ago, and does not come from money, is Jamaican, you know, bred and born and bred, and um, threw it in his car and just started pedaling, and made his business, ATL, grow by customer service. So when his team got a call on Thanksgiving Day or Christmas Day that the air conditioner wasn't working in somebody's house and she has 40 people coming for Christmas dinner, it didn't matter that it was Christmas. His crew went out and fixed it because he's all about service. So when he started Sandals and Beaches Resorts with Sandals First, somebody gave him a leather bound book that said, everything I know about the hotel business by Butch Stewart. And you open it up and it was completely blank, 500 pages of blank. Because what did he know about the hotel business? Nothing, but what he knew about was the service industry. True story. And it all starts with service. And those of us that, have, what I call, have come up through the, you know, the ranks with him, I started basically a year after the company opened. Um, we were bred to not, I mean, it's, working for an entrepreneur is not working for a corporation. Like it does, just doesn't work, right? If he's got an idea, we all go that way. And then he comes back in and he goes, what the Ross are you guys doing? I said, go this way. <laughs> And we're like, okay, we'll go this way. But obviously he knows what he's doing because he works from the gut and he listens. He listens to the travel partners and he listens to his guests. I mean, if he wants to know what's going on in the mailroom, he doesn't ask the CEO, he calls the mailroom. If he wants to know what's going on in the properties, he doesn't tell the hotel he's coming. 
He just shows up on property, starts walking around talking to guests. And that's the success of his business. Yes. He is intimately involved with every single piece of the business, down to the color curtains. This is the 10th anniversary this year of the Samuels Foundation. Yes. There are hundreds and hundreds of projects in the Caribbean that Sandals and Beaches have worked on, and I wrote about several of them, actually 10 of them, for the Jewish Journal. And I was really so impressed. I saw one of the projects, I went to Flankers, it's where they help the kids after school. It's very close to the Montego Bay. You know, I've worked for a lot of travel corporations. I know when they're doing something and when they're just talking about it. I was really very impressed. There's so, literally hundreds of projects. Yeah. What's the difference between BFF and, and just BFF is a, Yeah, so BFF is a program that we put together. It's ran twice a year. And then beaches and sandals are the resorts. So we hold BFF at beaches, Turks, and Caicos. Okay, so what's different about BFF? So BFF is going down there. Well, we have we have those certain dates that we have it set, and we have sponsors that are part it's of the BFF. It's programming for girlfriend getaways. So in addition to all the experiences that are already existing there, Kim curates all these different workshops. So whether it's an inspirational workshop, whether it's um, oh, okay. You know, a special party in the evening just for the girlfriend. Yeah, and so it's all coming together, whether you're traveling alone or you're traveling with your own girlfriends. Yeah. It's either you can be friendly with everybody else that's there or not. And so it's added value. So some people show up at every single thing we have on the calendar. Some people pick and choose what they want to do. They might want to be on the beach. They might want to use their spa certificate. And some people will come to, every, you know, not come into anything. They'll just come in and check in for the BFF, and everybody gets a very large beach bag filled with all kinds of items from our sponsors. Yeah, you guys did a wonderful job. Yeah. Thank you. So, um, one, last, one last question. So what if somebody wants to go down and see the property, um, like maybe an independent travel agent or something? Do you guys have like fam trips? I know they yes. do that. Um, yes. Yeah. Well, I'm interested in coming Thank down. You. So. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.